Yeah, you're live. Hello there, everybody, and welcome to the latest Elite FPL podcast with myself and Jason. It's the Game Week 3 preview, the one that we've all been waiting for. We've got about 300 different captaincy choices to choose from. Of course, tonight, like I said, it is our prediction day, which means that we're going to get one of you guys on live on air with us to uh, predict along with the games. So, uh, Jason, I know there's been about 300 people waiting for us for a very long time. Good evening to yourself and good evening, everybody. Hello, Jason. Good, good evening. Good evening, everybody. Hello to the millions of people out there tuning into the stream this evening. I'm like the rock. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, we've got a lot of you guys uh, have been waiting for a while now. We've got uh, David Kip2 in chat. Simon Bellamy's here. Andy Salt is in chat. Uh, we've got um, FPL Boona, Yash, uh, Wadhan, Jane. Um, I, don't, I don't know if that's right, but I'll, I'm doing my best. Uh, we've got Show Me the Mane FC. Um, we've got um, One Rovers Vlogs, Felipe, uh, Anarag. We've got Ryan C. Churn. Um, we've got Nasty Balls, G Wiz, Phil Potter, Carl Kirsten, Ramsey Sinclair, Alpha Nine. Uh, Sultan Said was the first person that I can see that's messaged. So, well, thank you for being so patient. And Gut Guatam's in chat, Vish is in chat, Fantasy Football Focus is in chat, Daniel Jarman. Uh, we've got Manchester Rest, Reds, Zulu Ninja, Emilian. Um, Juan Paolo or Jan Paolo. Um, we've got uh, Cal H in chat, Greasy Trumpets in chat. We've got Direco. We all know who Direco is. Um, we got um, Leozzy too. Um, Rad Robbie. Um, we've got Pidey Pa, uh, Shane McGuinness, Gravy Dave, Khalil Mukadem. Um, we've got Nathaniel Forrest. We've got B Bernie. Or Berksney, Berk is, I can't even say that. Ad Whitfield, welcome, welcome, Andy. Uh, um, we've got uh, Ian Anderson, Fruit Loops, John Harris, uh, last year's champion. We've got Matt Brunton, FPL Roz, uh, and Neil. And wow, thank you for the subscribe. Uh, yeah, and, and many more. The list goes on. I mean, like someone commented in Discord, um, actually. Uh, someone commented um, saying that it only took us like five seconds to go through the names in Discord. Um, and now it's it's taking absolutely um, ages. Get yourselves into the on the air on Discord. Yeah, we will do. We will do. We will do. We're not we're not we're not taking calls just yet. Not at the moment. This is we're pre previewing uh, game week three. Um, but I just want to say, Steve-O, before you uh, let's, we kick on to the preview, um, I just want to play the stream something very very quickly. I hope you don't mind. God, it, it took, took off, off an hour. hour. <laughs> yeah, that was really nice. Yeah. Really good. Really good. Mm. Got, out, got out of my van earlier on. <laughs> That's ridiculous. <laughs> anyway. Um... <laughs> Uh, very, very good indeed. Well, don't let me stop um, you, Steve. Oh, come on. <laughs> we've got a steep. We've got a stream. We've got a stream to do. Yeah. <laughs> Steve, -O's, Steve O's voice isn't echoed, Sultan Said. It's he's he, he shouted so loud that I could hear. He actually picked my microphone. Picked him up as well as his microphone. There you go. Um, right. Let's put right. you on mute. And remember that. Uh... Yeah, that's yeah, why, yeah. That's why. Yeah. That's why. That's why you echoed because you weren't on mute. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Like, like, like Jason said, this is our preview show. We're not going to be taking many callers tonight. We just want to do the preview, get our predictions, uh, go through myself and Jason's thought process of how to game week three. And then what we're going to do is we'll take a few calls. I know FPL Boona wants to um, talk about his wild card that he's chosen. We may get the odd call, but we are going to be finishing at 10 o'clock tonight. So make sure that... Uh, uh, when you are coming on air, try not to dibble and dabble. We just want to get through the calls as quickly as possible. Like I said, we're only until 10 o'clock. But uh, whichever one of the guys that are in the waiting room that wants to come live on air is down to Jason, really, whoever he wants to pick to come live on air to do the predictions with myself and Jason. So, Jason, it's the lottery. Which one out of Chicken Tikka Mo Salah, Fantasy Football Focus, George Jones or Tornado Gangster do you want to come live on the Elite FPL show to predict along with us? 
I think I want I want to get Charlie on with us. Let's get Chicken Tikka Mosala in this evening to be our guest prediction side co-host. Hello, Charlie. How you doing? Hello. Evening, Jace. Evening, Steve. Yeah. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. All prepared for the uh, predictions ahead of game week three. Confident that you were uh, you may beat uh, FPL Booner last week. Uh yeah, yeah. Hopefully. So basically, the way the way the predictions work is quite simply this. You just simply predict the score, and um, I calculate the points which are totaled up as follows. So you get one point for the correct outcome, you get two yeah. points for close enough, and you get three points for bang on the money. Last week, I came out on top, followed by Jason, then it was FPL Boona, then it was the history. As ever, I will be giving you a little statistic about the specific fixture that we're talking about over the last six games. The last six games are quite literally the last six games these are played against each other. Whether that includes friendlies or not, it doesn't matter. It's the last six fixtures. And also, I will give you the history regarding the most popular captaincy picks for this upcoming game week. You will be very, very interested regarding some of the players. Uh, the players that I've picked for this week that we believe will be the best captaincy options will be Firmino, Salah, Mane, Sterling, Kane and Son. Also, Jason, something that we blinking forgot to talk about is the Elite FPL community team. You guys have voted. Make sure everybody's listening to this right now. You guys have voted to get rid of Fraser and Wesley, which leaves you with 15.4 in the bank. So, right now, we kind of want to kind of get a general idea of what midfielders or strikers you would want to be bringing in. But it looks like, based on Jason's maths, that you're looking at approximately a seven to eight million pound midfielder to replace Fraser and Marshall. a six, yeah, a seven million pound striker, give or take. So, um, Bars. if you want to just for Jason's point of view, um, <laughs> let him see the chat and he can see what the general consensus is, so he can then put up a vote, poll vote in the Discord, and then you guys can vote officially which two players you want to bring in for Fraser and. Wesley, anyhow, after all that admin, let's get on with the predictions. Jason, you're going to predict first, but we kick off with Aston Villa versus Everton on Friday evening. Jason, what are your thoughts on this game? Yeah, um, yeah, I think this game is going to be pretty boring. Mm. Um, I don't think there's going to be many goals in it, if any. Um, I haven't wrote my predictions down this week because every time I do, it seems to always be the same as yours. So I'm going ad hoc. And I'm gonna I'm gonna say it's gonna be one nil Everton, Aston Villa. <laughs> <laughs> that is uh, that's exactly what I've gone with. I've gone with one nil Everton for the simple for the simple fact that. Uh, Everton have got the best defence in the league, barring Man City and Liverpool. Aston Villa, they're just absolutely shambolic going forward. Yes, they've scored a couple of goals, but I think Everton will shut them out, and I'm going one as well. Uh, Charlie, what are you thinking on this game? Um, I reckon it's going to be tight, but I think Villa will score, and I think it'll be 1-1. One, one. I was thinking something similar, actually. Well, the history is going with a 3-1 victory to Everton. Um, bizarrely, there has been a pattern. This kind of similarly happened with, in fact, involving Everton's game versus Watford last week, where a high-scoring game would then be followed by a low-scoring game. Well, in this case, a clean sheet uh, game is then followed by a goals galore game. And in this particular case, it looks like it's going to be 3-1 to Everton. So moving on to Norwich versus Chelsea. Everybody's joined the Pookie train, including myself. We all saw my video yesterday. And uh, will Pookie score is a simple question. And I'm going to say a simple categorically yes. Chelsea are just a shambles at the back. I still think they're trying to get used to whatever the system that uh, uh, Frank Lampard is wanting to play. And uh, Jason, I'm going to go with uh, I'm going to go with one one. Uh, I I think I'm going to go with with. Uh... I'm going to go with a surprise 2-1 win for Norwich. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Charlie, are you confident in Jason's thought process there? I'm I'm quite confident, but I think it'd be 2-2. You think a high-scoring game? Yeah, I yeah. can yeah, yeah. I, I can 
to see that. Yeah, both teams um, will be wanting to go for it. And yeah, I, I, I like that prediction. The history is going 2 1 to Chelsea. There have been a, a three draws in this fixture and three Chelsea wins. Um, it does look like it's going to be a tight game as well, based on the history. Uh, moving on to Brighton versus Southampton. Yeah. Uh, Jason, what are your thoughts on this game? Brighton and Ovalbian to win. I'm going to go with a 2 0 win to Brighton with Matt <laughs> Ryan. Matt Ryan getting a clean sheet. There we go. Every time you predict the same as me, I'm putting up it to the camera because that's exactly what I predicted. I was thinking 2 1. Do you know what? No, I'm going to stick with my prediction. I'm going to go 2 0 to Brighton. I just think that uh, there's something about Brighton which I'm surprised at, but they're impressing me. Southampton are not looking that great at all. Just, so, just uh, want to say, guys, if you're wondering what I'm doing here on the, on the screen, I'm just putting my tap tap sport predictions in. If you don't know what it is, it's just a website that we're teamed up with at the moment. They're giving away um, money, a hundred pounds every month to the highest um, predicting the guy that's got the most predictions right basically so if you haven't already signed up um the code's in the description um it's completely free to play you don't you literally just sign up free to play get yourself entered into a, into a draw to win 100 pounds there you go simple as simple as it, that okay charlie um i reckon it's gonna be two nil as well <laughs> I think. buy me a hat trick at two nils well, yeah. the, his, the history isn't going with that. The history is going with 2-1 victory to Southampton. Four out of the last six games have been played at Brighton and Southampton have won three of them. There we are. Now they're moving on to Jason's team, Man United. They're at home to Crystal Palace. It's a three o'clock kickoff. And I personally think that uh, Man United are going to come up trumps here quite comfortably. And I'm going to go 2-0, Jason. I'm going to go with... Uh... That's a very good prediction. I don't think Crystal Palace is going to do anything against Juan Bissaka and Maguire and David De Gea. I think it's going to be um, a bit of a, a bit of a cheering up for the United fans after that disappointing game against Wolves. And um, I'm I'm betting on. I'm actually going to now say that I'm I'm confident of a Rashford a Rashford brace. Um, I'm going to go with three 0 Man United. Well, Charlie, are you uh, that optimistic for Man United? Yeah, I reckon 4-0. 4? Four? Yeah, 4-0. Four hey, I think Palace Charlie, Palace how many, how many goals are Rashford going to score Are those four? Uh, maybe one, but I hope <laughs> Martial, Martial gets at least two because I brought him in this week. Ooh, we'll talk about yeah. your team in a minute, Charlie, but wow, okay, you've um, brought him in, obviously, somebody that uh, has been top of our mini-league. Uh, the history's going with 2-0. Um, the last three games that have been played at Old Trafford, uh, they've all been held a clean sheet there quite comfortably. Uh, now they're moving on to the new boys, Sheffield United versus Leicester City. Um, Jason, what are your thoughts on this? I'm going to go with a Sheffield United win. I'm going to go with a 1-0 win to Sheffield United. I don't think I don't think Leicester are going to do anything against Sheffield United. They, they, they've got such a really good, well-oiled defence. They've got this really strange <laughs> tactic where the centre-backs go running forward. And it's just like, oh, my God. I don't think anyone... <laughs> I, I don't think anyone's, like, worked them out yet. No. And um, I just think Leicester are just not firing at the moment. And um, honestly, I just think 1-0 Sheffield United. Alpine's disagree and he's saying 2-0, but... <laughs> yeah, I, 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 I'm, I think they'll cancel each other out. I'm going to go 1-1. One, one. For me, Leicester don't seem to be firing all cylinders. Uh, that's just based on what I've heard and seen. Uh, Sheffield United are just they're full of confidence. Man. I'm going to go 1-1, one, one, Charlie. Uh, I think it'll be 2-1. I think Leicester will take their chances this week, and I think they'll win 2-1. Well, you're agreeing with the history. The history's going with 2-1. Uh, basically, uh, Leicester unbeaten in the last six versus uh, Sheffield winning four of them. Now, moving into two of the worst teams in the division at the moment in Watford and West Ham. I, uh, What are your thoughts, Jason? Watford and West Ham, yeah. Not a game that I'm going to be particularly interested in, to be fair with you. Um, mm -hmm. I don't own anyone, or do I plan to own anyone from either of those teams? Honestly, toss a coin. Um, I'm going to go with the home team advantage. I'm going to go with a 1-0 win. Oh, no, I think I think West Ham are going to win. Actually, oh, no, West Ham are going to score. I think. 
Sorry, Hollow Bass owners. Um, I'm going to go with <laughs> 2 1 Watford. 2 1. 2 1 to Watford. I've gone the reverse. I'm going with a 2 1 win to West Ham. I just think Watford are just, uh, just a sinking ship at the moment. If they don't, <laughs> ironically, if they don't change their manager, which they've been doing in previous seasons, I think they're in trouble. Uh, Charlie, what are your thoughts on this uh, particular game? Um, it's a very. Uh, I think it's going to be tight. I think it'll be 2 2. Two to two. Oh wow! Yep. Wow. Uh, well, the history is going with a two nil victory to Watford. There have been three two nil victories in this particular fixture, two of which have gone to Watford, and the the history has been actually in Watford's favour, winning three or four, I believe, of uh, the last six. Finally, we move on to the big captaincy games yeah. here. Uh, it's the evening kickoff between Liverpool and Arsenal. I've been calling a big score here and I am going big. I think that this is going to be goals galore. It'll probably end up nil-nil. So if anybody with triple <laughs> Liverpool defence or double Liverpool defence, congratulations. You're going to be loving life. Uh, I'm going 4-2 to Liverpool, Jason. 5-3. Five, 5-3? Three. Five, three? Wow. Yeah. Which way? To Liverpool, I'm assuming. To, to Liverpool. What? Why? Wow. Go on. What? what why 5-3? Um... Just think that um, just oh, like you said, there's going to be a lot of space for Mane for Salah. I don't think Arsenal are, are going to be able to defend very well at all. I think Emery, like you said, is going to set out to to attack. He's not going to be playing men behind the ball. Arsenal aren't set up to play that way anyway. Um, even with David Luiz in there, I just don't think they're going to be able to hold out. And I think that Leno is going to be picking the ball out of his net a few times. Just want to mention. Al- Alex, our good friend Alex Volos in chat. If you wonder who Alex Volo is, Alex Volo is the one that creates all our thumbnails. Yeah, the legend. And we just want to, as we always say, we really, really do appreciate the incredible work that you've done. And we've got a special treat for everybody for next week's Saturday because the thumbnail he has come up with is absolutely genius. Anyhow, Charlie, uh, what are your thoughts on Liverpool versus Arsenal? Uh, well, like, like, uh, uh, you two have said, I think it's going to be another high-scoring game and I think it's going to be 4-3 to Liverpool. Wow, here we go. Yeah. Well, the history is going with 4-1 to Liverpool. Um, Liverpool are unbeaten in the last six. There have been 29 goals scored in this in the last six and uh, wow. Liverpool have got 19, Arsenal have got 10. So, this is the important thing. Everybody listen up. This is the history regarding captaincy picks of... Um, if, if it will help you or not. So uh, we'll start with Firmino. Firmino has played six times versus Arsenal. He's got six goals and three assists. Now, I, I want to clarify this, by the way. This is just actual assists. These aren't FPL penalty assists. Now, I know there's been quite a lot of penalties in this game. And I don't know who has actually got the assist for those particular um, penalties. So it could have been Salah, it could have been Mane, it could have been anybody. So I apologise to anybody thinking that actually Firmino's got a further two assists because he was fouled for penalties. I don't know. But um, of actual raw data, Firmino, six goals, three assists. Mane, if anybody's brought in Mane, he's played six times versus uh, Arsenal. He's got four goals and two assists. And... Oh, On wow. to the big one. Yeah, I was about to say, do you want to mention that, Jason? Thank <laughs> you to Greasy Trumpet for your donation. They're really, a, well, like you say, sending some appreciation down from the South, from South Africa. I mean, me and Jason are more appreciative for that donation, Jason. Thank you ever so much, um, Mr. Trumpet. That's very, very kind and generous of you. And um, your support is, is is very much appreciated. We, we can't, we can't, um, thank you enough. Thank you. <laughs> that is going to be a quote. We can't thank you enough. But yes, um, Salah has played uh, Arsenal four times. He's got three goals and two assists. Again, I alliterate this point. Salah, Mane and various others could have had assists due to penalties because there have been quite a few penalties in this particular fixture. So, I mean, straight away, Simon Batcher is saying that Salah won a penalty last year. So that's three goals, three assists as an example. So, uh there we are with the history there. Uh, you'll be wanting to know the other three players, which are Sterling and Kane. And um, yeah, we move on to a Bournemouth versus Man City. <laughs> Everybody seems to be captain and Sterling. We'll find out what me and Jason are doing later, along with Charlie in a second. But Jason, your thoughts on Bournemouth versus Man City? 
Um, yeah, Bournemouth versus Man City is a game where I'm going to have my captain playing. And um, I'm expecting That's Sterling right. to live up to the history hype. Um, I forget, I mean, now how many... I don't know what the stats are, but I, saw, I did read the stats, but my memory and retention when I'm working at the moment is just low. So, yeah, I'm going to go with um, Sterling as a captain, and I thoroughly expect him and Kevin De Bruyne to, to score well against... Um, the leakiest defence in the league um, last year. And, um, yeah. And the school? And the school, Jason? Yeah, I'm thinking. Uh -huh. Yeah, I'm, <laughs> I'm thinking. Um, I'm going to go with... I don't think I don't think there's going to be any reply. I think Man City are going to have a clean... Wow, be, if they score one, they'll be lucky. I think it's going to be 5-0 Man City. What? Huh. I'm serious. I've actually got... <laughs> Well, Five I, I've gone one more. I've actually gone six. I think that I think Man City are going to be so annoyed by what happened against Tottenham the other day. I heard, I heard Man City could have scored three or four extra goals. They didn't. And um, I'm going to go 6 0. I completely had Jason's thoughts. I think that, well, Bournemouth's defence wise are a joke, but the history suggests slightly different. But, um, uh, Charlie, your thoughts? Um,. I reckon it's going to be a lot closer than that. It, it, even though I think Man City will win, because I think the last two seasons has been it, when they've played Bournemouth away, it's been quite close to the last two years. So I'm going oh. to say three-one. Uh, three-one. Three-one. Uh, yeah, Jason. I've just seen the old uh, donation from Matt Brunt, and go get yourself an ice cream, Steve. Well, if Jason wants to pass me one. <laughs> I'm about to go to bed in a minute, so I don't want to have any ice cream before bed. There we go. No, that, yeah, we'll make sure that Steve gets an ice cream and has it on the next stream, right, Steve? Thank, yeah. Uh, thank you for that, for that two pound, Matt. Really appreciate Cheers, that. Mate. Cheers, buddy. Uh, uh, yeah, on to the history for this particular game. And Charlie's bang on the money. Although there's been four clean sheets uh, for Man City in this particular fixture at Bournemouth, it's been really, really tight. There's only been a goal in it, and. Uh, the history's going with a 2-1 victory to Man City there. Uh, regarding Sterling, he's played against... He's played against Sterling. He's played against Bournemouth six times. In that particular period, he's got five goals and two assists. So, there we are. Um, if you're choosing the captain between um, Sterling, Salah, Mane and Firmino, it's really a toss-up between Sterling, Firmino and Salah based on history. But... Uh, like Jason, I think Sterling is probably the best captaincy pick. Now, moving on to um, another potential captaincy pick. I've seen a lot of people going for Kane. It's Tottenham versus Newcastle. Uh, Jason, your score prediction on this particular game? I mean, if you own Kane, then he's going to be... I think he's the most popular captain choice in the fan... I almost said, I almost said Final Fantasy Scout. <laughs> Fantasy Football Scout website is the most popular captain choice as it stands at the moment i can't see it moving across to sterling so yeah he's up there as being a very popular pick if you own him i think a lot of people in the elite fpl community don't own kane purely because of the money and the value that's in their midfield so if you earn it if you own him then it's it's very very um it's a very sensible captain choice um and it, in my opinion if you've if you own kane you've got a captain him um because you've got all that money tied up in him uh, it would be crazy not to. Um, so yeah, I think um, I think that there's going to be a few goals in this game. I, I'm going to go with three-one to Spurs. Oh, you're giving Newcastle the goal. I'm not. I'm going three-nil. <laughs> uh, I think that no, with Newcastle losing three-one to Norwich, what on earth are Tottenham going to do? The history suggesting slightly different. But uh, Jason, uh, sorry, Charlie, your thoughts on this particular uh, game? Uh, I reckon. Tottenham will win 4-0. I think Newcastle Ooh. are so poor and they they don't even look like scoring really. So yeah, 4-0. Well, history um, is, is only going a, a short, a small little 2-0 uh, victory to Tottenham. Um, out of five games, there's only been one goal, particularly in this particular fixture that split the two teams. And as Boona mentioned the other day, the last two games at uh, Tottenham's ground, albeit the old white art lane so to speak uh, ended 1-0 so maybe and the history is not in favour of Harry Kane or people that are potentially bringing in Son uh, Harry Kane has played Newcastle five times he scored one goal Son 
has uh, been involved in five games, but he's only started two. The other three were substitute appearances, and he's only just gone and done a bit better. He's got a goal and he's got an assist. So I remember last year saying about Harry Kane versus Cardiff and Cardiff versus, uh, what do you call it, uh, Tottenham. Always ended 1-0 and ended 1-0 and every brought in Harry Kane for that particular game. Everybody should have listened to the history then, including myself. Maybe wise to listen to this. But uh, moving on to the final game of the, the weekend, it's my 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 guys versus uh, Wolves. It's Burn- Wolves versus Burnley. I think they're just going to cancel each other out. I don't think that uh, Wolves are ever going to win a game. I don't think they're ever going to lose a game. They're just going to draw every single game this year. They're going to end up on 40 points. Uh, <laughs> sorry, 38 points. So, yeah, I'm going to go 1-1. Jason, I'm gonna I'm gonna disagree. I don't think there's gonna be any goals. I'm gonna go nil nil. And sorry, John. sorry, Barnes owners. <laughs> I reckon it's gonna be one nil Burnley. Yeah, the, yeah. The, what makes you so confident what? on that particular prediction? I just think um, you know Burnley. They're you know a very solid team. Um, and Wolves. I think they they play tonight against Torino. I don't know how yes. they got on, but. They've played a pretty strong team, so I just think they're going to be completely uh, knackered, and I think Burnley will nick a win. Yeah, the history um, is actually going 2 0 to Burnley. And involving this fixture, there's been four clean sheets, and three of which have gone to Burnley. Um, so, there we are. Just to alliterate for everybody, um, having a captaincy dilemma out of the what I think are the six popular captains he picked this week uh, Firmino. Versus Arsenal, six goals, three assists. Salah, three goals, two assists. Mane, four goals, two assists. Sterling, five goals, two assists. Kane, just the one goal. And Son, one goal and one assist. Charlie, before we let you go, your plans ahead of game week three. You've already mentioned that you made a transfer. Go for it, mate. Tell the nation what you've done. Uh, Well, this week I've done a minus four. I've took out uh, Sigurdsson and Aubameyang. And I brought in Kane and Martial. And you're confident with that? They're, they're very nice picks. You're confident ahead of this uh, game week? Yeah, I think even though obviously the history with Kane and Newcastle ain't good, I just think Newcastle looks shocking. And I think Tottenham <laughs> will, um, yeah, batter them. And hopefully Martial gets a few goals as well. Saiz uh, has just four? scored for Wolves, by the way. Just to, just to say now. It's just been reported in chat. One nil, one nil at half time. Yes, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, I'm, I'm literally about to, to bring that news, but um, but no, Charlie, was that for a minus four? Yeah, minus four. Yeah. And what are your thoughts on um, uh, dropping out? Are you dro- have you dropped outside the top four in the Elite FPL Cash Mini League? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's it's still close. You know, there's still <laughs> lo- loads to go yet. Yeah, how yeah, yeah. I have. Are you uh, confident about moving back up uh, to, to gain that, grab that top sport again? Yeah, I'm quite confident, but I'm just worried about, uh, like I think I said it last week, I'm just worried about De Bruyne. I think I will, in the next couple of weeks, I will try and get him in, depending on how he does, because, you know, he's, I mean, they've got really good fixtures, Man City, but I just hope Kane does the business as well for me, because I've, I've, I'm pretty sure I'm one of the only ones in like the top maybe 15 in the um, cash mini league that's actually got Kane. I've looked and not many people have got him, so I need him to just, do the business. Aren't you... Um, I'm just interested to understand your thinking here. So you are six points. You're six points off top sport behind Ian Rose. Yeah. You played your wild card last week and now you've just taken a minus four. Why didn't you uh, bring in these particular players in the first place? Uh, I'm not actually sure, to be honest. Um yeah, I'm not sure. I thought I brought in Stigerson because I thought um, he was going to do really well, but uh, but now obviously Martial, you know, they've got really good fixtures. United, but yeah, I should have I should have probably uh, fought it through a bit more. But yeah, I'm not I'm not I'm not worried. That's excellent. Uh, I, think any they, final... I think they're good transfers, by the way, Charlie. Yeah, yeah. I, I agree. Think gonna final... ca- you're going to have to captain Kane, though, right? Yeah, probably. Yeah, probably. But I'm just I'm just worried if like if Sterling does go on a roll then and I don't captain then I'm gonna lose um Well lose you don't you points. don't you don't bring Harry Kane in this game week. Surely not to just you know, captain Sterling. Yeah, true. Yeah. But I mean it's, it's a... obviously have a think about it. 
Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Um, thank you ever so much for joining no us. Worries. Yeah, Mate. thank you for your prediction and everything. We'll see how you get on, uh, yeah. well, at the end of the, the game week. Yeah, Appreciate cheers, it. lads. Cheers now, Charlie. Take care, buddy. Bye. Cheers. Bye. Wow. Um, gets Kane in, doesn't really want to captain him. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Which, okay. Uh, well, that beautifully brings us on to our plans ahead of uh, game week three. We all know what my plans are. Um, my team was just put up in the Discord for you to put up on screen at the moment. Um, there's nothing I can add. Everybody saw what I did yesterday. I, I just want to say before before we do that, Alex Volo, who's in the chat now, or was in the chat at least, I'm just going to quickly play something that he's he's done for us to kind of showcase our little... Um, have you seen this, Steve? No, I'll bring up on YouTube now. Anyway, give me give me a second, guys. I'm gonna just play it. Just bear with me. Let's make a new window capture. Here we go. What, what, what kind of Mickey take is this? No, it's not a Mickey take. But um, I think it's I think it's really important that we uh, we put it up on the screen for everyone to see. So as ever, Alex Volo is our uh, graphic design thumbnailer. Yeah. yeah. Here we, go. Here we go. He sent me he sent me this over the over Discord um the other day and I just literally just cried with laughing. Bookie! <laughs> gonna press play, Jason. <laughs> right here we... Here we oh go. this, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Got, yeah, got, yeah, yeah, yeah. So so yeah, anyway, um so basically guys, we're doing um in the future, um it's it's live on the website now but in the future we're going to be doing some crazy like just promotional merchandise and stuff for the for the discord community and for well for the elite fpl community um full of memes and like funny quotes that we've got going on um so if you if you're interested um in that you can head on over to the website um by all means but um we're still very in, in very very early stages of of doing it so uh stay tuned stay tuned uh, anyway let's get your team up on air uh give me one moment mm, yeah it's a, it's a three five two everybody knows what it is because i showed it last night okay, and there uh, is. <laughs> thank you for everybody that joined me for that quite literally impromptu uh, stream that i did for less than an hour it could have gone on longer but due to tech issues i couldn't but it doesn't really matter we got the point out there i took a minus eight uh to be honest with you i'm pretty happy now i've, I've come to a decision that i've got nothing to hide anymore i, I, honest, I honestly couldn't care less. I was just thinking about certain things that people like G Wiz were making the point of and Vince Chapman and everything. It's just like, just, just say what you want. doesn't matter. don't care. You know, I'm not going to influence your decision. I'm not going to influence FBL Booner's decision, Daily Lams, and nothing. I, it's just my game. And uh, the minus eight that I took was great. Vince Chapman took a wonderful minus eight. Yes, in fact, I was in awe of uh, Vince's uh, minus eight yesterday. I thought it was absolutely stunning. Uh, there are various other people that played the wild cards. And yeah, I, I, like I said, I'm, I'm very happy. It's a 3 5 2 formation. I'm more than likely going to be going with Sterling captain, and there's nothing more I can add. All I can say is that I'm going to say it now Sigurdsson's probably going to get a double haul versus Aston Villa. He's going to get, a, in my 1 0 prediction, he'll get a goal, clean sheet, and three bonus points. We all know that's going to happen. Uh, what's his face? Oh, okay. Whoever else I got rid of. Oh, go on. <laughs> Matt Brunton uh, has um, a, a, another two kind, generous two dollars. Money, two do two money coming out of his ears. <laughs> what, instead of donating, why don't you might, might as well get get yourself a shirt? I think he's waiting for it. He wants an "I'm detecting an accent" T-shirt. I did a you, <laughs> so he probably probably wants the um, the image I did of you um, with a metal detector looking for it. Let's have a look, see if I can find oh, it. Oh, I haven't seen that. <laughs> I've seen it. I'm going to stick it on the chat. Hang on, I'll stick it on the... Well, yeah, carry on. Um, Ta carry on thought process. Yeah, I'm listening. Yeah, and any other player that... I can't even remember what players even got rid of. I can guarantee you now Pookie ain't going to do anything. Ashley Barnes ain't going to do anything. It was all going to happen. It, every transfer I've ever done in the history of FPL has always backfired on me. So I'm just letting you know now, if anybody's thinking of getting rid of the players that I got rid of... Oh, Kevin De... Kevin De Bruyne is another one. He'll, he'll blank. Uh, Fraser will get his. Uh, uh, he'll get a free kick in versus Man City. We all know this is all going to happen. So yeah, my advice is stick to Fraser, stick to Sigurdsson, stick to Wesley, and stick to Wilson because they're all going to do something this weekend. And uh, Pookie Barnes, Fraser, uh, Kevin De Bruyne, and 
the other player that I've completely forgotten. Sabellos are going to do absolutely nothing, Jason. <laughs> there we are. <laughs> um, well, no, I, I, to be honest, let's be completely, please, completely honest. Sensible moves, and I like the fact that you've you've kept all the Perez. Obviously, you didn't want to do. I mean, you probably did think about taking them out, but you're giving them one more chance against Sheffield. I, I basically, realistically, I reckon I would have gone through a minus twelve yeah. if I was. I was 0.1 sure. I think you would have regretted that. I think a minus 12, you probably would have regretted. I don't know. I, it's such an early stage of the season. Like I said, I'd rather do it now mm. than do it in game week 30 yeah. when it's so pinnacle. And don't get me wrong. I could be right at the bottom of the league. It doesn't really matter. But for me personally, I think that doing hit, a hit now, uh, just get it out of the way while we can and get a team which you're happy with rather than using any chips and everything. And I think if you're going to be going up to a minus 16 plus, then yeah, hitting the wild card would be wise. But I'm now pretty much set in stone with this team. I'm happy with it. It's pretty much give or take the team that I was coming in with on game week one, barring the odd player here or there. Um, it's When I look at the team, I'm just like, ah, that's better. I prefer the fact that I haven't got Wesley anymore, who's been absolutely useless. Uh, as a simple example, Fraser being absolutely useless. I'm a bit hesitant that I let I got rid of Sigurdsson, but at the end of the day, Kevin De Bruyne, Sigurdsson, who are you going to have really? Sabellos really is that punt, but he did really well versus Burnley. Yes, it was Burnley. Uh, Liverpool up next is probably going to end up nil nil, despite what we're all saying—a high-scoring game. Uh, then he's got Tottenham the following week or whatever. But I'd like to think that Sabellos is um, is going to do really, really well for us. So I'd rather get him in now than uh, having to spend six million or whatever in the future. I mean, you've got the armband on Salah. Um, some Owen Wright in chat has mentioned as well. Is that armband staying on Salah? Are you confident against Arsenal? I mean, I no, I I'm, thought not sticking, it was... I'm sticking on Sterling. That was just an auto thing. Right, I'm okay. sticking on. Sterling. What was it last? Probably last week's captaincy or something. Yes, but there is a there is. Don't get me wrong. There is there is a. Oh, well, I said five I three. I said five three to Liverpool, mm. and I you know I I think both. I think it could be one of those weeks where Salah and Sterling just get equal or similar points, and it's not mm. going to be it's not going to be a massive, massive differential captain pick going one or the other really. Um, I just I just like um away at Bournemouth more at home to Arsenal. Um, just want to say a guy at uh, Llama as well anyone that has checked out the website is still in its very very early days of being developed um, if you're not in a mad rush to get a t-shirt like I'm not saying you would want to buy one whatever but just wait because I'm still working out the prices and I'm still working out the, the inventory so there's there's it's, there's t-shirts that need to be added there's designs that need to be added and it's really early stages so I, I just kind of mentioned it to you just to give you an idea not to go onto the site so if you're wondering why um but anyway um, talking of um talking of which jason like we said regarding the community team it looks like you guys you well there's no looking like it you're wanting to get rid of fraser and wesley you're going to end up with 15.4 in the bank it looks like you know you're going to have to have a 7 million 7 to 8 million pound midfielder seven to eight million pound striker i'm sure jason at some point this evening will put up a poll no. which players to be bringing in you need to in the chat now if you can kind of give us a general well, idea i'll, I'll just put, I'll put, up, a, but... I'll put a poll it well well, well um because i'm sure you guys don't want to see what i've done with my team so i'll just you carry on talking and i'll <laughs> stick a poll up yeah so yeah so jason's going to put up a poll now and everything and um I'm sure Jason will put up the most obvious candidates possible. I mean, if people would have the audacity to say, now nah, we want Telemons in the team and everything. I mean, to give you an idea, I mean, Jason, can you actually pull up the uh, community team or do you want me to put it in the Discord? Um, I think I've got the link for it. Just give me a minute. Okay, so for anybody that doesn't know, the team, and I'll read this out for people listening in audio, and like I said, Jason will bring it up on screen in a few minutes time uh, quite simply put you've got matt ryan in goal no it's no, yeah matt it's pope. matt ryan in goal is it matt ryan no it's, it no, ryan? it's pope ryan. no it's pope it's pope it's pope, pope. yeah apologies so nick pope in goal you've got Wan basaka dina zinchenko alexander arnold salah sterling perez fraser who you're going to get rid of wilson 
Wesley, who you're mm. going to get rid of. And uh, Jason's going to put up a poll in Discord for you guys to vote for yeah. to see who you want to be bringing in. And there's there's only going to be a few candidates. Let's think logically here that you can bring in. It's going to be virtually impossible to be bringing in someone like Kevin De Bruyne or Son because looking for a five. I've looked at it here. A five point eight striker is just virtually impossible. Certainly fitting in within the four four two um, formation structure that we've got at the moment. So. Uh, yeah, I mean, Jason, I'm going to look at the poll here now. Yeah, and, right, so, uh, so it's going to be, so I'm going to say midfielder, McGinn, Ceballos. Um, got me Marsh, yeah, in there. Yeah, Marsh, Trossard, yeah. AB. <clears throat> KDB. Yeah, I don't think we're going to be able to afford KDB, but okay. Right, so the first poll's been, oh no, I forgot to do it. Hang on. <laughs> <laughs> the first poll is up now brilliant oh there we are straight away brilliant and then <clears throat> we'll put the second poll up for the forward and then we're going to go with uh... there we are everybody so if you go into the discord right now I'm sure you're all members in it if you're not, the link is in the description. But if you go to the poll vote here menu on the left-hand side, uh, there's the vote which midfielders are putting in to replace Fraser. Is it Sabellos, Martial, Trossard or Kevin De Bruyne? But to warn you now that if you were to bring in Kevin De Bruyne, you're only going to have 5.8 to spend on a striker. Just to let you guys know. I don't want to sway you or anything. This is your team, but... We have to think logically here and uh, the, the poll is up there now on the left-hand side. Now... Um, Come on, Jason. Thoughts ahead of game week three and your team, my friend. This is what everybody wants to hear. They all well, want. Um... I don't know why. I don't know why everyone's so interested in what I've done. I mean, you've got all the drama this week. I've got no drama. I'm just chilling. I'm just enjoying my ice cream. You know, I'm just relaxing. <laughs> so you've done, you've done one transfer, haven't you? I've seen that. Yeah, yeah, I did that. I did the one transfer. Who, who guy, who, who in chat wants to know what I did? Come on. It's not that interesting. It really isn't that interesting. <clears throat> okay. Uh, I thought, I'm assuming it was, I think you said it was uh, Rashford or Martial that you were bringing in. Honestly, the most boring transfers I could possibly make. Transfers? Yeah. So you've taken a minus four? Yeah. Okay. What did you do? There's my team. Okay, do you want to read it out for people on <laughs> audio like me? Because I have a clue what it says. <laughs> Matt Ryan in goal uh, with Luka Dinia, um, Van Dijk, Zinchenko, Wambasaka. Got Kevin De Bruyne, Salah, Sterling captain, Sabayos. And up front, we've got the mighty pairing of Rashford and Puki. Ah, that's right, you're brought in Sabayos. Yeah, you're, you're confident then with Rashford uh, moving forward. I am. Hmm. Mm, yeah, I think I think very good moves. Like you said, very, very um, expected. It'd be interesting to see. Yeah, I agree with FPL Booner. Solid team there moving forward. I uh, can't go wrong. Talking of FPL Booner, shall we bring him in to discuss his wildcard team? Yeah, absolutely. Um, I think he was already in. I don't know if he's still in. Um, still here, guys. Are you still here? Booner, how you doing, buddy? So I'm very you, good, mate. Yourself? All week you were saying that you... Well... I don't know how serious you were, but you were convinced that I was going to wildcard for some mad reason because <laughs> why? And I kept saying, I mean, I did say I was considering it, but I, but there's a massive difference between considering it and actually going anywhere near it. And I've been reading all week long, Discord conversations, uh, Twitter conversations, Instagram conversations. Well, not so much. I never go on Instagram, but you know what I mean? And I just see people wildcarding, taking Salah out. I'm seeing people bringing in, you know, Sabios, Adam, Fra I mean, Mr. France in chat saying what's going on with Sabios Love. I mean, he's playing in an attacking Arsenal team that's got some incredible talent. He's playing in an attacking midfield role, and I think he's going to feed balls in. I think he's going to take set pieces. And I think he's going to be an absolute bargain this season. He's also a great enabler for the the likes of Kevin De Bruyne, Salah, Sterling, and having a a, a sort of a expensive-ish striker in option in terms of Rashford and I just think that um, I think going forward I'm very happy and confident with my team and it's the same reason that Steve-O did his minus eight it's about being confident and happy
happy with your team. Don't ever just jump on things and wild card unless you really think it's improving your team. I mean, if I was to wild card to bring Marshall in, I think that would be completely crazy. And I think a lot of people would have been like, okay, this guy's gone mad. When Steve did that impromptu stream, I thought, here we go. Is Steve going to actually do something? Is he going to wild card? No. And that's because he's a rational thinker. I mean, we don't want to waste these chips. You know, game week 10, game week 12. I mean, last season, I wild carded in game week four. I'm not going to... I was thinking, you know what? International break coming up. Nice time to wild card. No chance, my friend. If you don't need to wild card, don't wild card. Wait. Wait to game week 12. Wait to game week 15. Like, Just just wait a little bit. Wait and see, you know, how the fixtures you know, arise. There could be one or two injuries in your team. You know, suspensions can play a part as well. There's lots of factors. Um, and and I'm just completely blown away by people who I've seen some teams that are wild carded and I've been like, oh my god, you've literally just changed your team by about three players. You didn't need a wild card. No, I, I actually saw someone wild carding because they didn't want to take a minus eight. Really? Yeah. Wow. And they were like, well, I don't want to lose the points. I don't want to lose the points that I've got already. I don't want to take a minus eight. I'm just going to wild card instead. That's literally like I was thinking, okay. Completely, the not. I think a lot not... of managers have been afraid of these price fluctuations this week as well. It's been a bit chaotic, to say the least, hasn't it? I just don't think. I just right. right the wild card is a tool for you to completely revamp your team. It's not a tool for you to avoid pro, um, point hits. If, if, if whoever's top of the like, whoever's top of the mini league right now, whoever's high up in the rankings right now, it means absolutely nothing at the moment. This is such. This is game week two. Game going into game week three. We will have much more of an understanding of where we're at come game week eight, and where you, where you're likely to fall, and what sort of pr sort of rank bracket you're going to fall towards, and if you're going to approach that top ten k. I think at the moment there's so many people that are scared of dropping points that they're just wild carding into a frenzy, and they're and they're, they're going to regret it. They are going to regret it. I'm gonna I'm gonna say it right now. Anyway, Boona, this is about you and your wild card. Ironically, mm -hmm. um, you heard what I just had to say there. Do you agree with anything I've said? No, I agree with everything you said. I just had this inkling that you were going to do it. But, you know, at the end of the day, your team, if we think about it, didn't really need it. So I think you've made the right decision. I was just hoping for action purposes that you did it. Yeah, <laughs> some sort of like drama. But no, look, your yeah. team's in. Yeah. Um, there was absolutely. a few people in, in chat saying about Discord for the Mac. Um, I'll be completely honest with you guys. I, I, I know everything about the, I know everything there is to know about Windows PCs and Discord. Um, I've never, I've, I, even though I use Macs at work every day, I've never used, I've never used um, Discord on a Mac other than the web browser. So I'm really sorry, I can't help you there. But I don't know if anyone else is using a Mac that can help out the guys in chat. Um, I'm sorry about that. Um, but you can always come on with your phone. It's not the best, but you know it's better than nothing. Sorry, Bruno. Go ahead. So let's um, let's let's speak to you about your. So work. I'll, I'll put it. I'll put it in rate my team now. Ooh, here we go. So it's there, it's, it's, there it come on, Bruno. Have a bit more enthusiasm in this. In the, <laughs> in your voice. Come Try on. Not to tear it apart. I'm not going to tear it apart. Steve is going to tear it apart. <laughs> Uh, well, I haven't actually seen it yet because, of course, I'm having tech issues at the moment. But, Buna, do you want to just quickly read out for the members of audio, people listening on audio what it is? So, Pope in goal, Wambisaka, so 3 5 2, Wambisaka, Zinchenko, and Kyle Walker Peters. Oh my God, it's a resurrection. <laughs> it's, like, it's like the second coming. So, in the midfield, we have got. Sadio Mane, mm. Martial, mm. Sterling, De Bruyne, and Cantwell. <laughs> well, Across the front, we've got Puki and Kane, captain. Mm, I do the, the way you've put up the. I think it's a for anybody watching on audio, watching on audio. Watching on YouTube, I have to say that's a beautiful uh, picture that you have put up and rate my team. I think it's fantastic. For anybody listening on audio, it's put the old monkey emoji covering his eyes across Cantwell uh, at the bottom, covering the uh, substitutes. It's hashtag Blame I, Buna. I think if, you, if, I was on a, if I was on a wild card, I'd be bringing Cantwell in as well. 
Like mm-hmm. he's such a he's such a better option in my opinion to Dendonka. Yes. Yeah. yeah um. Yeah, yeah. And, but... Uh, but I mean, I wouldn't necessarily be starting him again at home to Chelsea. He's but looked good. I, he, he, looked he has. He has. He has. He has been looking good. He has been looking good. Um. I see why you've done it. And you got six differentials in your starting eleven over me. And yeah, it's. I see a, a, a captaincy choice in Kane that is it this this to me is on a knife edge my friend you are on an absolute knife edge you could so you, you could you could going through his stats today regarding sterling against kane has made me like question <laughs> the i'm not going to lie to you you but... are either going to go flying up the ranks or my friend you are going to sink down past the 1 million well i don't know where you are now but you're going to be sinking into the millions i think that team is bold i think it's got obviously it's got the, the regular picks of sterling de bruyne and and um pookie now is becoming a regular pick but obviously going with mane instead of salah i i think like stevo he can you know i i think it could be the year of mane um I've, and you know he's looking like he's up for it and okay. and I think looking at that team, yes, Kane captain. Let's hope he. Let's hope it's not another Cardiff. Let's hope he actually does something at home to Newcastle, and then the arrival of Son isn't going to affect his positioning. Um, and as a Spurs fan, you could be doubly excited for that game at home. Absolutely. I mean, the only um, del- uh, kind of point that I was unsure of was whether to go Walker Peters and Kelly or two four point fives, and that's something I'm still considering. Um, but I think Walker Peters could be set to stay for a little while. Aurier didn't even make the bench last week, and Newcastle are like absolute dross. So, kind of thinking, look, if he doesn't play, I've got Lundstrom on the bench. It's not yeah, the end that's of the a world. Not, that's a nice. This this is one of the things. Like, if I was well, if I were to have wild carded, I would have probably gone with the value in Marshall, and I probably would have done the same because to justify a wild card, like I was saying a minute ago. To justify the wild card, I would have, I would have almost certainly, no, I would have, I would have downgraded Salah to Mane. I would have brought Marshall in, and I would have got, I would have looked at getting a couple of these people, like Cantwell in uh, for Den Donker, and I would have also um, gone with um, Lundstrom as well. Um, but I've missed the price rise anyway on him. I think Lundstrom is one I've really missed out on. I'm really gutted I missed out on him. I missed out on Doherty last I've season. I've made some good money. Yeah. Made some good money yeah. with this wild card as well. I I immediately noticed no Liverpool defenders in that I team. I know, I know. And it's a worry. Well, it's I, a worry. I was thinking no Everton either. No, well, yeah, no yeah. Everton. Well, Ever- no Everton defender is more out of stubbornness because I feel that I feel like that their defence is due to concede a goal. Well, I just <laughs> and then, and that... I... sorry, yeah, sorry. No, no, go for it. No, no, no. I wasn't gonna say anything. <laughs> I just think like. My, my my critique here is in the money the money you've put into your midfield and your attack i mean that the attack mainly kane of course your defense is very much very frail it's a very frail defense obviously you've got wan bissaka the, the wan the mighty wan the one that's going to get you the bonus points you've got zinchenko who is is at the moment i don't think under any threat of being dropped um, but Walker Peters, I would not be confident with going forward. I, I just wouldn't be. Um, I just have this horrible feeling that you know he's, he's uh, with with that position in, in Tottenham. I just think rotation is going to come in and and play a part. You have got Lundstrom on the bench. You have got Lundstrom in your team, and and uh, you have got that backup. Um, but I just think that your your love for Harry Kane. And your decision Could to go, hurt me. your love, <laughs> your love for Harry Kane, and your 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 club um, sort of affection, I think may be 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 restricting your money um, being be invested in defence. Because let's be honest, a lot of the points that have been scored so far in the game week one and two have come from defence. I'm talking about Van Dijk. I'm talking about Dinia. Um, and I, I mean, it could it could sway, it could sway. So best of luck to you, man. And if that's if that's so the basically, um, yeah, yeah, you got you guys may as well book me into Sunday surgery right now. 
no, <laughs> we we don't know the future. At the end of the day, Harry Kane could get a hat trick at home to Newcastle, <laughs> and let's be honest, it, it wouldn't surprise us if he did get two or three goals at home to Newcastle. Um, and you could be coming on to the you know to the game week reaction stream with a massive smug smile on your face having climbed the ranks but uh, i just think that i like i originally said you are on a knife edge my friend it's going to go one way or the other and i cannot call it i can't call which way it's going to land cheers jason uh, thank you Boona. thank you for for sharing the team cheers, and uh, yeah it's um it's, yeah it's looking solid <laughs> to be honest with yeah. you, I, it, well actually I'll give a Steve a reaction because I didn't actually give my reaction, but I'll just quickly say that for anybody that is wanting to take the Elite FPL community team seriously, go into the poll vote here menu in the Discord and vote for which midfielder that you want to bring in for Fraser and which forward you want to bring in ahead of Wesley. At the moment, Martial and Pookie are winning outright for the options that you are being given in that particular um uh, what do we call it? Uh, option vote. process. Yeah, uh, vote. Yeah, it's called but, a vote, um, mate. <laughs> yeah, but uh, looking at yeah, looking at your team, I just it's just the Cantwell pick. If you're starting Cantwell, oh, I, I, I don't like that at all. But it's there's <laughs> yeah. only only some way, a certain ways you can bring in Kane. I just love the the Mane pick. I have this gut feeling that I'll be bringing in Mane soon for Salah. I just think that Mane is going to out outperform. Salah in the next two three matches so I think that you're way ahead of the curve there like Vince Chapman I think you're um, ahead of the curve and uh, all I can say is good luck my friend cheers dude appreciate it Steve absolutely. thank you absolutely thank you Boona um, we are approaching the half an hour mark before we um, end the stream We don't worry guys don't worry no panic yet um, I'm mindful that we've got a few people wanting to come on and talk to us um, we've previewed game week three You've seen our teams um, for the... Uh, I'll bring my team up again uh, very quickly. Um, it is um, a, it's Ryan and Gold, Dino van Dijk, Zinchenko, Wambasaka, De Bruyne, Salah with the captain on Sterling, Sabayos away at Liverpool, question marks. I mean, whether or not... I haven't got any other option really to play him. I've brought him in. I've got to play him. Um, I brought him in. I'm happy that I brought him in. I've put, caught a few price rises as well on Puki. And um, I think Rashford, if I'm not con if I'm not mistaken, I think Rashford's going up this evening in price as well. So another price raise before the game week. So it's, I'm happy, 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 uh, Jason, at the moment, and I'm very excited to watch the uh, the home to Crystal Palace game. Um, and um, yeah, um, we're going to uh, see who's um, who's waiting. To well, I was going to say, can we, can we bring in Zulu Ninja because I've got his team up on uh, on my screen at the moment? I'm really really liking. It. I'm assuming it's a, a wild card. Let me have a look. Where is he? There he is. Right, let's bring it up. <clears throat> Zulu Ninja, you are live on the Elite FPL Game Week Three preview with Steve O and myself, Jason, and we've got your team up on the screen right now. How are you? Are you feeling? It's a wild card team. Are you excited? Yeah. And yeah, I think I've done pretty well. Ten transfers, so. I'm yeah. Quite Zulu, happy. Zulu, sorry, I'm going to turn you up. Are you in an empty room? Yes. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> well, that's fine then. That's fine. I mean, I just wanted to know. Um, yeah. So, yeah, carry on, carry on. Sorry. It's a new microphone, so it might be. No, no, it's fine. It's fine. You carry on, buddy. So, tell me, talk us for your team. Uh, yeah, so Ryan and Goal, that one stayed as it was. Same with uh, Wambasaga and Van Dyke and Dinia. So, the back four as it was. Mane has come out, uh, sorry, come in for Salah, saving me a million. Uh, Ceballos, new transfer. De Bruyne, a new transfer, still and stayed as it was. So the midfield, I think, is a hell of a lot better. And then the front three. Barnes, mm. Rashford, Pugi, they're going to get me goals. They're going <laughs> to score points. You weren't interested in bringing a, you know, trying to save a bit, free a bit of money in. Obviously, you got the Sionku pick there. You weren't interested in downgrading him and bringing a bit of money in, probably going up to David De Gea. I know David De Gea has gone up in value. He's no like he's five point six now, isn't he? But I'm happy with Ryan. I think Brighton are going to do all right. Okay, because the only reason I say that is because what you've just shown me on the screen right there is if I had done a wild card. Mm, actually no you've got Rashford I would probably would have gone Marshall yeah, it's very similar to what I would have done mm. is, is the point is the point that I'm making and that's a, that's a very very similar team to how I would have set up if I had a wild carded so I think that's a very strong team um, 
there's a lot of the, the, the I say the template picks you've got I mean people are moving on to the Pookie bandwagon now um you know he's, he's had two games for God's sake I, I'm with him look, look <laughs> I'm with him I'm with him um we got I mean the captain and see on Stern and I think it's going to serve you well we've got Sobias there as well I think I mean that's a very <laughs> solid team and I, I I'm I'm in your I'm in the same team as you my friend Ryan a home to Southampton, I'm expecting big things and woe betide, or God forbid he gets any bonus points because Steve-O may have another meltdown. Yeah, but that's always fun though, isn't it? Let's oh, it's, it's, it's what, I, I live for it. <laughs> I live for it. Much. I feed on it. Um, but um, but yeah, that's an absolutely solid team. I like the Sayon pick. I really do. You've got Lundstrom in, you've got Cantwell in. That's a very, I, yeah, I love that team. The, the, I the love that team. The bench is ready for the bench boost as yeah. well whenever that needs to be played. Yeah, so. it's a very yeah. good team, my friend. Yeah, I completely agree. I, I I would say this is in my opinion. I would have uh, would have dropped one of the three strikers to get in Martial ahead of Sabellos. Barring that, I think it's a. I th- I look at that and I just think that's pretty much what I would probably buy if I was going to do a wild card. So well done, Zulu Ninja. That I think it's excellent. Absolutely, Zulu. You've, you're on to a winner there, my friend. Thank you ever so much for sharing it with us this evening and speak to you at the game week. Hopefully, game week three. Right, cheers, boys. Cheers, buddy. Thank cheers, you. Dude. Thank you, mate. Wow. Great wild card. I mean, this is this the thing. If you're going to hit the wild card, you're going to make some decisions. He's taken out Sally. He's brought in Mane. He's freed some money up. He's got a very, very, very strong team there. And um, it's not a case of just moving one or two players. He's actually revamped his team. He's got in a very solid bench. Um, we're going to get on. Um, let's going to see if we can bring in George Jones. Um, George Jones, you're live on air. How are you doing today, Hello. Mr. Jones? I'm good. How are you? I'm I'm super. Thanks for asking. And what brings you onto the channel? What brings you into the stream this evening? Uh, I just want to talk about my wild card, really. Just want to talk about your wild yeah. card. Okay, I want to hear about it. So I've got your I've got your team in in front of me. Uh, Steve O should as well. Steve O, do you want to take it away? Let's have a look. Yeah, for, for people listening on audio, we're going with Matt Ryan in goal, Wambasaka, Dina, Lundstrom and Zinchenko. A five-man midfield of De Bruyne, Mane, Sterling, Son, Martial. Up front, Pookie on his own. And then on the bench, a bunch of well, basically non-playing players. I, barring, I say barring Lundstrom, it's just the fact that he's 4 million. If he was 4.5, I couldn't care less because it's 4 million and you just have that panic mode. I, I, I like it. I, I, I like the... The punt on Sun, although, like I said, regarding his history, out of the last, uh, well, six fixtures, he's um, only played twice from the start and made three sub appearances, and only just coming back from uh, suspension, so he may not actually start this game week. Boone is very confident. Many, many other people are confident he will start, and he probably will start, but um, if he doesn't start, then uh, it could have been a bit of a waste of a move. But other than that, I, I think it's, uh, it's a very standard team that we'd all like to expect but a 4-5-1 I don't like playing one striker if the striker isn't a quote-unquote premium but yeah Jason your, your thoughts on this particular wildcard team I, I like it but I don't like it anywhere near as much as Zulu Ninjas purely because yeah, you've got yeah, yeah. you've got Kelly Martinelli and Wickham on your bench where Zulu yeah. had Sayanku, Lundstrom and Cantwell who are all three mm. where you would you get points from in my opinion and um, I, I'm just going to say right now Pookie up front on his own with with I mean it's the Son pick really that's, that's, that's done it you've got the Mane, Serling, De Bruyne and Son that's just way too much money in your midfield there my friend and if you were to downgrade yeah. I mean I'm not saying get Son out but if you were to get downgrade Son bring in someone like Sabayas for example obviously he missed his price rises which is very unfortunate but you know down, you know, you've got Marnie in there already so you've you've freed up money there with Salah but you've you know, to bring in someone like Barnes, maybe go Rashford instead of uh, Marshall or keep with Marshall. Well, I'm, the point I'm being is you probably could get Barnes up front next to Pookie um, and, and maybe have more potency up front and have that less less money just spent in the field. But I see why you've done it. I really do. But I think if you freed that money up and upgraded your bench a little bit more, I think um, there's some better picks to be had, especially yeah. in the Lundstrom pick, which well, you've got Lundstrom in anyway. You've got um, you got Cantwell, which you know you could definitely bring in um, if for a midfield option for the bench. I think there's a lot more pre like cheap bench um, options um, for um, for midfielders and defenders than there are for strikers. Um, you, you you don't really there's, there's no uh, Martinelli and Wickham just aren't going to get you any points 
And yeah. if you, if God forbid anyone gets injured or there's a, there's a, a last minute injury or something, oh, sorry, um, you know, there's, there's a drop or someone's dropped in the starting lineup, then you're in, you're in big, a big, big pickle really. Mm, yeah. Just, just my point of view anyway. But yeah. Yeah, t- seeing Zulu's team, I'm thinking, mm, that looks a bit more tasty. Zulu's team is very good. I, I, that's my favorite. That, that to me is my favorite so far that I've seen. And, um, I'm not saying your team's bad. I'm not saying. I think um, the starting eleven's amazing. I just need. I think my. Well, be right back. Just got to run off a sec. Carry on, Steve. Okay, um, uh, uh, George. Other than that, you're confident moving forward, forward with this team. Yeah, just thinking now. Maybe a bit overpacked in the midfield. Well, you've got twenty-four, just over twenty-four hours to swap it around. I'm sure the guys Discord will be able to help. You've heard uh, Jason's thoughts there, and uh, all I can say is good luck, George. Yeah, cheers, thanks. Cheers, dude, and uh, hopefully you'll come back on over the weekend and see how well you've uh, particularly done. I'm going to bring up Captain Warlock, but before I do that, let's do a bit of admin quite quickly. Basically, simply put, if you're enjoying the stream, simply hit that like button to show your support. That's the best way to show your support for the Elite FPL uh, podcast by just simply hitting that like button whenever we do our streaming. Also, if you're brand new to this and uh, you're enjoying what you're seeing and you're not a subscriber, simply hit that subscribe button. We are approaching that 2,000 sub mark, and of course, we will probably be having another celebration which you know what that means vodka shots yes uh, mr steve here will probably get out of the old vodka shots and uh, enjoy the party along with you guys celebrating 2000 subscribers we're just getting bigger and bigger by the day and it's really really enjoyable other than that so uh, let's bring on captain warlock captain warlock you are live on the elite fpl game week three preview my friend uh, you've put your team in the rate my team and it's basically mine how's it going yeah and i i know it's that uh very similar isn't it it's it's it, there's uh, one difference it's uh, you've got wan Basaka and i've got zinchenko yeah i've got martial as well oh martial yes of course yeah yeah but yeah. that there is um that there it's pretty much the team that I want. And I congratulate you on having an absolute... And that there is an absolute stunning team, my friend. Well, I, I, uh, I wildcarded on uh, Saturday night, I think. Oh, right. OK, so you hit the wildcard button on Saturday. We're, we're doing Captain Warlock, Jason, if you want to bring up his team. We're at... It's all right. It's at uh, 21.17. But um, we've got a team here very similar to mine, but it's a wildcard team. So Saturday just gone, you hit the wildcard. Why did you do that, Captain? Uh, because I wanted to get rid of quite a lot of players in the team, and I wanted to the team I wanted. I was like point one, point two within getting it. So if I didn't go for it straight away, I wouldn't have been able to get it. Basically, I, I, I can. I've, I've just said to Captain Jason, this is pretty much the team that I want. That is that is bang on the team that I want. I think it's absolutely stunning. Yeah, I uh, oh, sorry. Yeah, uh, I think I'm sticking with Paul because he's he's amazing at shot stopping, and I think Burnley are going to keep more clean sheets than Brighton. Yeah, so next two fixtures. Absolutely. I mean, everybody knows my thoughts on Brighton. Admittedly, they're a, they're, they are appearing to be a bit of a different team. I actually do think that even though I went with a two nil victory, I'm. Uh, maybe thinking of changing that to 2-1, but I've said 2-0 now. So, in fact, both Jason and Charlie, uh, Tika, Mo Salah, um, both said 2-0. The history thinking uh, Southampton will win that uh, 2-1. But, uh, no, I agree with you. I, I'm not a fan of Matt Ryan whatsoever. But we, we shall see. I, I do agree with you that Nick Pope, when it comes to Burnley, is, is just a freak of nature. And if it wasn't for him against Arsenal, we would have lost 5-6-7. It's, yeah. it's just a freak. And we, we just restrict all the teams to uh, long-range shots and walls. They've yeah, always been tight about, games. We made about seven, seven, eight saves, didn't they? And yes, that's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not It's not just this week. It's like the next like eight, nine games that I think is going to come out on top on. You know? Mm. Yeah. Um, sorry about the guy. I, I have my microphone muted. I do like that team. It's very, very strong. And um, I mean, the Barnes is still away. Uh, to me, I'm not overly convinced with Mr. Barnes for uh, Bernie just yet, but I know Steve-O is. Um, I hope he serves you well. 
I mean, I I wouldn't be I wouldn't necessarily be jumping on it just yet, but I hope he serves you well. Yeah, I think uh, I think Barnes, while he's shooting and he's in form, it's mm. the time to get him because mm. he's not always in form and he can score against anyone when he's in yeah. when he's on form. Yeah, fair he's point. He's just got that knack of being there in the right right place at the right time. No, fair just, point. Just, fair just... point. One final question before we let you go, Captain. Are there any players in this team where you're thinking um, may get rid of him for him instead? Maybe don't to tr- um, not Trossard to Montoya because he's out of position. Maybe or is you are you set with this? No, I like Dunk. I've had Dunk in my team for the last God knows how many years. He's just a good player. Gets bonus, gets goals, and. Uh, the only other thing I was looking at was who Dan would you Wade rotate? Who would you so who would you rotate Dunk then? Would you? It depends on the fixture. Yeah, but he's always he's always there to come in. He's but who, but to... if but if it was like I mean it depends on the fixture. So home to Southampton, Dunk at home to Southampton. Uh, it's a very it's a very tempting fixture. I mean, I'm just thinking now. Like I mean, there's a questionable fixture there with Sabias away at Liverpool, but I mean. I mean, when else got a decent fixture? Barnes away at Wolves. I wouldn't expect Wolves to concede that many goals um, to Burnley. But I'm just thinking, you've got Dunk there at home, Southampton. Is there anyone in your starting eleven that you would drop for him? That's that's the point I'm trying to make because it, what, it's week? all it's all very well, yeah. Well, this well, it's very hard this week, but it's very hard. I think it's very hard to drop any of those players. I mean, it'd be very very hard to drop Harvey Barnes for dunk yeah yeah um I, and out of all the other players i mean they're pretty pretty important players to the teams i would even say sabias is going to be very important to to arsenal so out of all your players who would you drop for dunk and and that's i'm just well, trying to ask because yeah it's money that you've got on your, your bench yeah well i like to have a good playing a couple of playing mm-hmm. uh, people on bench so is is the first one to come off the bench in case yeah. any of me front uh, front lot don't play. So yeah, mm. I, I'm I'm in the same uh, view as you, Captain. I think that don't worry about the the money on the bench. I think it's better to have a playing player substitute than not having anybody like me who's got Gilbert. Who well, he's got been Lundstrom a disaster. He's got Lundstrom there. Oh, yeah, I, yeah, I would yeah, I would yeah. play Lundstrom over Dunk like. Mm. In in most fixtures, but that's just my mindset. And I mean, I'm just I'm just getting the reason I'm asking you these questions. I'm not questioning you. I'm just just wanting to understand your thought process. And I I completely agree that people like to have certain players on their bench to to fill in if, in the event of a player no show or a uh, injury or whatever. But um, yeah, it's just a, a slightly different way um of of playing to myself. And I and I I love it. It's great. Mm. Yeah, nice one. Yeah. Thank I just like to have somebody on bench because you never know what could happen week in, week out. Mm-hmm. Any any one of them players could not play this week for whatever reason. It's always, you know, even if he gets you two points, it's two points more than what you would have got. Yeah, absolutely. No, absolutely. Um, thank you ever so much for sharing your team, um, Captain Warlock. And um, yeah. will, you, will, will, will you be coming on um, for the uh, Game Week Reaction stream? Hopefully, yeah. Excellent. Yeah. Well, if okay. not, we'll, if we'll speak to you, I'm sure, again. And you can let us know how you get on. Cheers, Ev, so much. All right. Cheers, lads. Cheers, Captain. Take care, mate. Cheers, dude. Well, so um, it's another one that's gone with with, with Harvey Barnes there. Um, it's, I, um, I, I'm, I don't know if I'm as convinced. I'll be honest with you. I'm just not as convinced. Um, what do you guys think in chat? What do you guys think? Harvey Barnes, you think he's going to be a prolific, uh, prolific for the next five, ten game weeks? Um, we've got quite a few people queuing up to join us on air. Um, I know that um, Philippe's been waiting for a while. Um, Anish has been waiting. I'm bringing Anish in. Anish, yeah, we wanna... Anish T- T28. Um, very quickly, we're going to try and get through as many calls as we can. Can you hear us, Anish? Yeah, I can hear you. How are you doing, Anish? How are you doing, buddy? Yeah, I'm good, thank you. Wel- you? Welcome back to the show, buddy. Um, tell, yeah, me, good. tell me, Tell me what you have done this week. Have you... Have you been wildcarding? Have you been looking at other people's teams and been banging your head against the wall because you haven't got their players in? Or are you calm, confident, and waiting for game week three tomorrow night to kick off? Uh, I've just used my two free transfers. That's it. Two free transfers, not spent a single point. Brilliant. I see you got Harry Kane in that team, but you haven't given them the armband. Explain to me, Anish, what, what's going on there? 
Uh, I just had um, I had three players that I wanted to get rid of, really, which was Fraser, Wilson, and Wesley. Okay. But mm -hmm. I was going to look at I was looking at Son originally, but then I'd have to downgrade Wilson to a six million or lower striker. Yes. And so I couldn't see anyone in that bracket so you've that was a... really going to fit the bill. So I've decided to downgrade Fraser to Cantwell and upgrade Wilson to Kane, which I had exact money for on Sunday. So you brought Kane in home to Newcastle. Um, he is, as, yep. as it stands, he is the most most voted captain choice in on the Fantasy Football Scout website. Um, you've given Sterling the armband. Have you been torn between the both Kane and Sterling? Or was it always going to be Sterling for you? It was always going to be Sterling, no matter who I brought in. <laughs> Just hoping that Kane can bring those additional points in. You know, obviously, um, I I like your team. Um, obviously, Wesley is going to be a target, I'm sure, for you to move out, if, especially if he doesn't do anything versus Everton. Um, I I mean Perez. I mean, let's hope he does something for you um, against Sheffield United. I think personally, it's going to be a very tough game for them. And um, yeah. yeah, you brought Lundstrom in. You've got lunch. I mean, it's a very money's been sacrificed in your defence. Um, that, 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 that's pretty clear to see. But you have got a, a playing Ake, albeit he is at home to Man City. I, I wouldn't be starting him. I think he's probably going to end up on minus points, to be honest with you. Um, yeah, that's true. But, I mean, all in all, you've got an attack in Lundstrom there. You've got Coleman, which could easily get a return. Um, and you've got the, the solid Matt Ryan. I, you've gone with the same goalie as me. So, yeah, I think... Looking at that team, Cantwell home to Chelsea. Oh, I mean, who knows? Chelsea are not looking amazing at the back, and he's Cantwell has been very creative for Norwich, and hopefully he can feed Pookie for on goal, and Pookie can get a couple more goals. Um, yeah, I, I'm. I'm. I, it's again. It's it's not my, the favourite team I've seen, uh, but you haven't hit the wild card button. You've done free tr two free transfers. I think you spent the two free transfers wisely because. You've gone where you've gone to the you've done the moves that have given you the best value for that money, and you couldn't go into midfield, so you've gone into upgrading your striker. So, absolutely, um, Steve, what do you think? Oh, I'm just going to repeat what you're saying. I think well done. The two free chances are perfect, and uh, good luck for the game week, my friend. Absolutely. Cheers. Thank you very much, guys. No, thank you. Thank you for uh, for joining us. Uh, I'd like to bring on LFC Mert. He posted his team at 2140. We've only got a few minutes before we go off air, so we want to try and get through these corners as quickly as possible. Uh, LFC Mert, you are joining us live on the Elite FBL uh, preview show. Uh, good evening. Good evening, man. How are you, how are you guys doing? Uh, we're all good, my friend. We've got your team up on screen at the moment. Uh, it's a very unusual setup. It's a 5 3 2 for people in audio. It's uh, David De Gea, Robertson, Dina, Lundstrom, Emerson, Alexander Arnold, Salah De Bruyne, Martial, Kane, Captain, and Pookie. A 5 3 2 LFC. Yeah, it's a different one. Well, I don't know. I've kind of ignored what's gone on in this last couple of weeks. And I've done a wild card, though. <laughs> I've done a oh, wild card. Oh, this is a wild yeah. card team, is it? Yep. I like your David De Gea mm, pick. So, I like it a lot. Yeah, I, 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 I like had to that. do it, Jason. I had yeah. to. Sounds good. Why the five three two then? I don't know. I feel like the defenders I've got can provide assists. <clears throat> Clean sheets is just a bonus in a way. Like Robertson and Trent, give them more time and they will get the assist eventually. Digne, I don't really have to say anything about him. <laughs> Emerson was a bit of an eye test. Although Chelsea isn't doing that well, I feel like he's a good player. But if I have to get rid of someone to do like a couple of moves, it'll be Emerson. Mm. Lundstrom, I'm impressed with him so far. I don't know, he, he might be able to do something against Leicester. And the rest are like template names at the end of the day. They're good players. Have I... you heard... Okay, so because because this isn't a, uh, a a normal team, this is actually a wild card team. You're you're going Salah ahead of Marnie, are you? Yeah. I feel like uh, people need to have more faith in Salah. It's only been two game weeks at the end of the day. Uh, you're not um, obviously you're quite clearly a Liverpool fan. You're not uh, worried at the fact that Mane seems to be uh, going through the centre a bit more and um, seems to be the main man for Liverpool, scoring so many goals so far. Yeah, Mane's been excellent. He's on form. He's playing really well. But I can't. I, I don't know. I feel guilty just dropping Salah straight away. Mm. I feel like I need to give him more time. Mm. Mm. Yeah. So, what, so, so can I just confirm this is a wild card team? Yes, this is a wild card team. I'm not a fan, my friend. I'm not a fan. I don't like it. Really? No, I'm not. I, I'm not. I don't like it, mate. I really don't. I think um, you've got a lot of money there, 
in your defence. And I know you, you've got to strike a lovely balance between your your defence and mid- midfield. I think yeah. 14 million, 14 million spent on Robertson and Alexander Arnold's hurting your midfield there, and obviously have a Harry Harry Kane up front, which you've given the armband. So I'll give you the benefit there. You've given him the armband. You're not bringing him in, you know, just for the sake of it. I okay. you've got you've got Dendonka there. Um, mm-hmm. I personally think that Cantwell for the same money um, will give you a bit more in attacking returns than Dendonka. This, these are only nit, nitpicking. No. This is nitpicking now, but I wouldn't go with that. I wouldn't go with that defense, mate. I really wouldn't. Um, that's, that's this is my opinion. I and I certainly wouldn't go without Sterling in my team. I think Sterling's going to be a golden boot this year. I think he's going to he's going to outscore. Um, you know the likes of Harry Kane, the likes of Salah. I think Sterling's going to be going to be the top scorer in the Premier League, and to go without him is a yeah, is a big risk. The thing is, to have the golden three, Kane, Salah, Sterling, I would have to seriously change my team. But I do understand what you're saying. But I really don't know my team. I could downgrade Emerson, obviously Robertson or Trent, but mm. which other midfielder? What well, do you reckon I should get Sterling there? <laughs> Well, I mean, I, I, I say Sterling because it's the obvious player that's missing from that team. Um, yeah. But, I mean, there's you've gone with Kane. Um, yeah. I mean, it all depends on where you're trying to spend the money here. And you, you've kind of tried to spend the money in all three positions. You've, yeah. got, you've got money in Alexander-Arnold and Robertson. You've got lots of money in De Bruyne and Salah. Um, and you've got lots of money in Kane as well. And I think what we're seeing is... <laughs> ironically that should mean in a balanced team because you've got money in all three positions but yeah. it just doesn't look balanced to me it just doesn't look balanced i think that maybe it's the formation putting you off but at the maybe end of the day, maybe it is from some midfielder yeah i just i just i think it's the defense that's putting me off the the most i think yeah. i it think risky, it, it, it looks like a pre-season team um Seriously. I think, yeah, I think looking at this, it's like a pre-season with Robertson and Alexander-Arnold with Salah, which yeah. were every, everyone had those three. Um, Understandable, yeah. But what do you think, what do you recommend? What do you think I should do? Well, I mean, we had Sultan come on earlier on. Oh, no, Zula Linja come on earlier on. And he had his wild card. He had Van Dyke, for example. He had the Liverpool defender. He had Van Dyke. With that money, you know, yeah. with that money, then he had, um, he had, he did have Dinya in his team, and he did have one. And then he, all, what he did then was he had Wambasaka, and he saved money there. And I think Wambasaka is a great, great defensive option. He went with a three-four-three formation. I'm looking at it now, and what that meant was, you know, obviously you've got David De Gea there, and I, I love the pick. Yeah, so you've essentially you've gone with the United defender in De Gea. He went with uh, Wambasaka, who's, um, you know, and I think. Um, you know, looking at the differences between the two teams, I think Wambasak and Van Dijk, Dinya at the back, um, with with a bench of Soyuncu and Lindstrom, and Cantwell, and then a midfield of Mane de Bruyne. I'm sorry, Zulu Ninja, if you're still watching, I just think that's a. I think that is the wild card team. Like that is to me, I would do that team right now if I was sitting in the wild card, but and I'd do that team. Mane de Bruyne, Sabayos, Sterling in midfield. And then up front, you'd have Harvey Barnes, Rashford and Pookie. I just think that that is just absolutely mind destroy. It's, just, it's, it's an amazing team. The bench, Joyenku, Lundstrom and Cantwell. It's just, I'm just going to put it back up on the screen for the people that may have missed it. That to me is the perfect, absolute perfect. Uh, and by all means, if you disagree with me, guys in chat, you can, you can let me know now. That is the perfect wildcard team for me. Right there. Zulu Ninja absolutely smashed it on the head. And I'm not saying your what your team is bad, Zulu. Absolutely, I'm not saying it's bad. I'm just saying I prefer that one. And I mean, Harry Kane for me. Boona may be listening to me. I don't care. I don't care about him. You know, at, at home to Newcastle. Um, I'm not worried about Harry Kane. I really, I'm not convinced. I'm not convinced he's going to. He gonna... will on Sunday. Seriously. No, I'd rather have Sterling. I'd football. rather have Sterling in my team. I'd rather give <laughs> the armbands to Sterling. I think if you brought Kane in, you've got to probably captain him. But to be honest with you, if I was on a wild card, no in a million years if I was on a wild card, I'd bring Harry Kane in right now. No way. I respect your opinion. Yeah, well, no, 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 thank you. Thank you. And I, I, I want you to know that I'm not knocking you i'm just giving my opinion i I'd much rather tell you my opinion and go oh yeah, yeah very good yeah, team you know, i'd much rather give you an honest opinion and yeah yeah, yeah by so, all means this is a risk and i would this love art, it i would love 
I would love worse, it if you came on. No, it's an insane risk. I would it love works. it. It's above ninety points. No, come on, please, please, LFC. <laughs> if you if you stick with this team, if it's what you want to do, and you score well, come on the stream, and you can literally say to me, you know what, Jace, you were wrong, and I got apps. I got ninety <laughs> odd points. I'm closing on on you. I've overtaken you in the mini league, and you know you're not you're not um you you're not talking now, are you? You're not smirking now. And I think to be honest with you, if you know, I would love it. I would love it if you did that. I, I wouldn't. I wouldn't have a reply. But yeah, you know what? Just for that purpose, I might keep it. But I understand what you're saying now. But what should I do? Just a few tweaks with maybe Ryan for De Gea, well, Robertson <clears throat> for Van Dijk, getting a fourth midfielder, maybe Sterling, and then yeah, I don't know. I just don't want that template team. I want to change it around. I know you well, want to change my, it around. I know. My advice, LFC, is just to use the Discord, get advice from the regulars, and. Uh, and see what they say. Thank you for joining us this evening. We're very, very pushed for time. Yeah, I know. The All bill's right. starting no in three worries, minutes. Man. Thanks for having me on. Cheers, Cheers Alice, but Thank you. Um, um, I'm going to, I want to bring on just quickly, um, Andy Salter. Andy Salter, please make sure that you unmute your mic. Because I know you've been a fan of the show for a very, very long time. Hopefully you'll be able to speak with us because we're going off air in just a few minutes. Andy Salter, you just need to unmute that microphone and we'll be able to chat with you. Andy, are you there? No, he's not there. Okay, yeah, fair no, enough. Give, give him a second. Don't get, yeah, he's, he's, probably, he's probably probably watching the stream back. He doesn't even realise he's here. Andy Salter, you've got a, you've got five seconds, my friend, and he's gone. He, he's having issues. Right, Philip, he's been waiting ages. Philip, you've been waiting ages. Are you wanting to talk to us on air about your team game week three? Hurry up because Steve is missing an episode of the build. He needs to go. Hey guys, doing? Hi, Philip. How, how's it going, buddy? You're right. Um, have you guys got my right my team up? Uh, I, I'm looking for it now. When did you post it? Did you post it recently? Um, I think it was 10.39, I'm pretty sure, or 10.29. Well, we're not even at 10 o'clock yet, so... Hey, you... 9.30. 9.30, 9.29. yeah, yeah. Okay, let's have a look, let's have a look. Um... So, yeah, so talk to me about your team. I'm looking for it still. <laughs> Oh, here it is. Have, yeah, have you wild carded, it, yeah. Philip? Twenty-one, uh, twenty-nine, uh, Jason. Oh, right. Okay. Yeah. So it's, okay. Here we go. Uh, for, 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 for people listening earlier, we've got Adrian in goal, Van Dyke, Shaw, Zinchenko, Lundstrom, then Donka, De Bruyne, Salah, Sterling, Martial, uh, Rashford. We've got Sterling captain. You're benching Coleman uh, uh, for, instead of playing Den Donka. Wow. Uh, yeah, what's your thought processes uh, regarding playing Den Donker against Burnley? Um, yeah, I, I think Aston Villa was unlucky last game. I think they should have won. So I just can see Everton conceding. Lundstrom is a defender playing as a, actually literally as a midfielder. So even if he does concede, he can assist and he could even chip in a bonus point. So I think he has a little bit more upside. Okay, mm. so you've got interestingly you've got triple up of Man United are you a United supporter? Um, no I'm actually a Chelsea supporter but oh um, so I had to go on to say this I like your team I like your thinking about the the, the Rashford Marshall I, I really really hope that pays off for you my friend although although just one quick question why Shaw over Aaron wan -Bissaka? I've got Shaw in because I think um, he'll average more assists and maybe more goals than Wan Bissaka. That's the only reasoning. Wow. wow. No, I, I think I think um, Luke Shaw's got more uh, p a potential, yes, to get assists. But I think that Wan Bissaka's Wan Bissaka has got that bonus point magnet boot. He's got these football boots that can just attract bonus points. And I think um, I think going forward, it's not going to be a million miles. You know, for the for the next few game weeks. I mean, the fi the, di the the fixtures for United are great anyway. Um, I like that team. I do like that team. Yeah, I, I, all I would say is I'd play Coleman over Den Donker, but that's just that's just my thought process. Oh, I, 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 I would as well. Nine in the bank at the moment. How much in the bank? Point nine. Oh, point nine. Okay. That's, a, that's an um, awkward my, number. <laughs> my thoughts, like for next week, like barring something happens, um, I'm thinking of doing uh, Salah to Mane. To Mason Mount. And, and who to Mason Mount, sorry? 
Dan Donka to Mason Mount, and I'll, and I'll have no players from outside the top seven. If you're confident in Mason Mount, I think that this weekend, I think the Chelsea versus Norwich, he's got Chelsea, sorry, he's got Norwich, and then he's got Sheffield United. Uh, a good friend of mine, Miss, uh, Mr. Reid, who was top of the Cash Money League for, a, for, a, for at least a Saturday anyway, he... Uh, he actually brought in Mason Matt ahead of Ross Barkley, and I said to him that uh, he has got the opportunity to get you a minimum of one attack and return across two. I think it's definitely worth a punt. Obviously, he's playing Norwich tomorrow. Um, he's going to be the guy behind the striker and everything. I think that uh, I think it's a good move. I think that watch watch tomorrow's game versus Norwich. See how he plays. If he's looking lively, and if he even gets an assist or even a goal, get him in. I think that plan is really really good. Excellent. Uh, thank you. Guys. Really enjoying your content that you're dishing out. Just keep up the good work. No, thank you ever so thank much you. for coming on. It's you. It's people like you and Zulu and all the other people. Captain, um, obvious. I can't remember his name now. Captain Wall- Warlock. That was it. Warlock. Uh, Warlock. And, and and people like you guys that come on the show that make the show so good. I uh-huh. uh, really appreciate it. Um, <laughs> so basically we are we are closing up now um thank you everybody that's joined us in the stream this evening it's been great to see all the aw- awesome people joining again uh, over 200 well over 200 people tuning in um we're looking forward to game week three uh, game week three being tomorrow night of course make sure you get your team settled for tomorrow night um it's a, it's a friday night's deadline steve do you want to do the honors absolutely as per normal thank you ever so much for joining us as jason said if it wasn't for you guys you know, we wouldn't be here today. But anyway, that's not the point. Um, yeah, if, as ever, if you've enjoyed the stream, just simply hit that like button just to show your support. It's the best way to show your support by just simply hitting that like button. Um, if you are enjoying the content, just like Philippe, Philippe says, that we're just banging out content every single day virtually. Uh, it just keeps getting better and better and better. Uh, just simply, and you haven't subscribed to us, just simply hit that subscribe button and uh, you'll be part of this whole community that we're building, which is through Discord. Obviously, you've heard Discord. Uh I don't know what Jason's doing there. He's bringing up the old uh, Pookie. <laughs> the old Pookie sign there. Discord, get involved in Discord. I'm sure there are people like Daily Alarm, FBL Boona, that can uh, simply put the link in the chat. If not, there is the link in the description. Uh, check out the new website that Jason designed. It is absolutely beautiful. I did see it just before we came on air. It was absolutely fantastic. Just check it out. Have a look at uh, Have a look at what Jason's done just to appreciate his hard work. Other than that, follow us on social media at Elite FPL on both Twitter and Instagram. That's at Elite FPL. Uh, our former co-host Dan is running the Instagram page now. So all the Instagram stuff is done because of Dan's hard work. So we really thank him for that. Other than that, um, are you doing a stream tomorrow, Jason, for your standard looking over teams before the game updates? And when the game does update, your reaction? There we are. Keep, keep, keep an eye on Twitter. Sorry, I muted my mic. Yeah, keep an eye on Twitter. Um, probably. Probably. Um, but it might only be a short one, though. Anyway, take it easy, guys. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Yeah, bye-bye. Cheers, Good night. See you later. Oh, just, just of interest, where, whereabouts are you? Not not in the world, but are you near, like, a an industrial um, machine or something? It's uh-huh. very... Uh, two seconds. Uh, just ask a couple of questions. I just need to get the door for yeah, a second. No Sorry. Problem, this, is, this is what happens when you're lying. What's going on? Uh, not really. I'm waiting to go to gym. What about yourself? Um, live on YouTube doing a stream. Why do you feel that you're constantly changing your team, mate? Is it just, it's just, just so many so, ideas? So many ideas, so many different perspectives. I, br- I blame Brett Mollison for his five at back because when you see my new team. <laughs> wow. Brighton home, they couldn't buy a goal in the little last season. <laughs> Well, I don't know. I don't know. Dan's got Dan's got Glenn Murray. I think he'll have a word to say about that. <laughs> I'm detecting possibly a German accent. I'm probably completely way out. But where are you calling us from? South Africa. <laughs> I'm the first there. Literally just types in FPL, like first draft, and yours came up like first. Mm. So I thought, oh, well, I'll watch one of the live streams when it comes on. And then I thought, this is a bit long, isn't it? About two hours in. And then three hours later, <laughs> well, an hour later, I was like, yeah, these seem all right, you know. What Steven's the... not that bad. I have one, que- I have one question for you. I, I once, um, 
I want you to predict the order of the elite FPL ranking. So, like, <laughs> who, who do you think will who do you think will finish first, second, and third out of y'all three this season? So it's certainly no disrespect to Dan, but it's certainly going to be between me and Jason. And right <laughs> now, as it stands, I'd go with Jason because my history suggests that I'm going to be having a bad season. So I've got the uh, the five at the back. I just see a lot of value there. I feel like if I if I don't have Salah, I can spread the money elsewhere and maybe maybe get the points another way. Um, All the teams now, except for obviously Salah and Sterling, these players, a lot of players are going to change towards the start of the season just because of new transfers um injuries that could happen and every, all of that so for me to tell you now like personally right now i'd say definitely if tammy abraham or but are cheap i'd get one of them just because i don't care about the man united we can score against them at least two or three hey guys this season we're using discord it's a text and voice application where you can talk all things fpl with fellow community members you can post your team in the rate my team talk in the general chat you can look at transfer news look at awesome gifts sign up for our cash mini league look at our previous podcasts and even join us live on air in one of our streams we look forward to seeing you guys link is in the description or look at the code on screen